Hi, I'm Leonardo Pellegrina, a postdoc from the University of Padova. In this video, I will present you our work, Discovering Significant Evolutionary Trajectories in Cancer Phylogenies, a joint work with Fabio Van. Cancer is an evolutionary process driven by the accumulation of genomic alterations over time, which drive the tumor growth into a collection of clones or sets of cancer cells with the same set of alterations. A critical challenge in precision medicine for cancer is to understand the clonal composition of tumors and how tumors evolve. What is possible today is to infer a phylogeny for each tumor, or a tumor tree, describing the evolution of a single tumor, in which a node is a clone that contains all alterations unique to that clone. This means that a cell that belongs to a clone also carries all alterations found in all the ancestor nodes as you can see in the example on this slide. However, a critical challenge is to understand if there are conserved progression patterns of alterations shared by many patients, a problem that cannot be addressed by considering each tumor tree individually. For this problem, previous works either focused on partitioning trees into clusters according to their similarity, or to only find simple progression patterns, such as pairs of alterations with a given order or linear paths. Moreover, we observed that the available st statistical tests for these patterns can be confounded by the co-occurrence of the alterations without properly assessing the significance of their order. Therefore, these methods do not allow to discover complex progression patterns that are typically important for cancer. So this was the, the motivation for our algorithm Astro for the discovery of conserved and significant progression patterns of alterations. Our algorithm can find trajectories with complex topologies that directly encode co-occurring and clonally exclusive interactions of alterations. It is based on new statistical tests to assess the significance of the order of alterations within trajectories and on powerful procedures to control false discoveries, providing rigorous guarantees to its output. Okay, so let me describe a bit more formally the computational problem that we want to solve. So first, the, the alterations that, that we consider in this work can be any type of somatic alterations of the genome, such as SNVs or copy number operations. And we define a trajectory as a tumor tree that is observed in a patient's tumor tree if all alterations pairwise orderings are the same in the trajectory and in the tumor trees. For example, here we show a trajectory composed by three alterations that is observed in all the tumor trees, which we highlighted in green in order in which the alterations are, are found. And note that alterations are not necessarily consecutive in the tumor trees, but only that their order must be the same. And this is another example of a trajectory that is observed only on the first and the third tree. Furthermore, we only want to consider maximal trajectories which are the ones with the largest set of alterations that are observed in the same set of tumors, so that they are the most complete as possible. Great, so now we are ready to define the computational problem that we want to solve, that is the frequent maximal trajectories problem, which we are given in input a multi-set of n tumor trees that uh, are inferred from sequencing data such as bulk or single cell, and a frequency threshold sigma, and the output is all the maximal trajectories that are observed in at least sigma tumor trees. And here we show an example of a solution of this problem for, for sigma equal to 2. In the paper, we prove that this problem is NPR, so it is unlikely that we are able to solve it efficiently for every instance. So we design a fast algorithm for this problem called the Mastro which the main idea is to expand each tumor tree into a tumor graph, in which we add additional edges to the tree, connecting every node to all other nodes that are reachable from it, as you can see in the example. And the, the intuition is that a frequent trajectory now, now corresponds to a frequent set of edges of the expanding tumor graphs. So Mastro finds all frequent trajectories from frequent sets of edges. And can do so by enumerating frequent item sets, a very well-known problem in data mining that can be solved quickly in practice. Then to assess the significance of our trajectory, we develop conditional st 
statistical tests to evaluate if a trajectory is more frequent than expected just by chance, in which the null hypothesis is that alterations arise independently or, or without any order, but keeping the same set of alterations of each patient fixed in order to account for different cancer subtypes that uh, um, may be hit by different alterations. Then used resampling-based procedures to bound the family-wise error rate and the false discovery rate by taking into account the correlation structures of the trajectories without overcorrecting for multiple hypothesis testing. Now I would like to present to you some of the experiments we performed in our paper. We applied master to cancer data from 123 acute myeloid leukemia patients. On this data, master finds 123 maximal trajectories that are observed in at least two patients in a few seconds, so it is very fast. It also identifies 40 trajectories as the most significant with a small FDR that we show in this figure. While I won't describe each one of these trajectories in detail, note that master finds complex patterns that can be reported by previous works involving many genes with low p-values p. You can, of course, find all the details on these results in the paper. Instead, I would like to present you a summary of these trajectories in which we show that they, they can be composed into four major different progression patterns that are observed in different subsets of the patients and are shown here in the figure. Interestingly, we notice that the first three patterns are known to be important in AMM. In the summaries A and B, a mutation in, a, in an epigenetic factor, such as DNMT3A or IDH1 or IDH2, precedes a mutation in the nucleophosmine molecular pathway, NPM1, that is later followed by chronically exclusive alterations of signaling genes, such as RAS and FLT3. While in the summary C, the initiating event is DIT2, another common pattern in AML. Master also finds a new progression pattern that was not previously reported, here shown in summary D. This pattern may describe a different modality of evolution, characterizing a subset of patients not hit by an early alteration of an epigenetic factor, in which the first event is a mutation in NPN1, not preceded by any other alteration. So to conclude, MASTRO is a fast and effective method to find conserved trajectories of alterations from large tumor cohorts. It is based on new statistical tests to assess the significance of the order of alterations and effective procedures to control false discoveries. In simulations that we show in the paper, MASTRO is robust against false discoveries while achieving high statistical power. And on cancer data, it allows to discover known and new progression patterns. Finally, I would like to thank my co-author, Fabio Mandin, and say that uh, the implementation of Mastro is available uh, online, and also that our paper will soon appear in Bioinformatics as in the proceedings of ECCB 2022. Thank you and goodbye.